Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to Mr. Chairman. I rise in support of H.R. 3839, the Black Hills National Cemetery Boundary Expansion Act. And I want to thank the chairman of the committee and his staff for helping to move this bill through the House and the agencies involved in their constructive input. Your support means so much to me, to our veterans, and to all of their families as well. Those who have served in the families who sacrificed beside them deserve our nation's eternal gratitude. Since 1948, the Black Hills National Cemetery has been but one way that this appreciation is shown. The cemetery currently covers around 100 acres of land and is home to the Korean Veterans War Memorial. Most importantly, its peaceful landscape serves as the final resting place for hundreds of service members and their families. Chief David Beautiful Bald Eagle is among the brave men and women buried there. Born in a teepee in 1919, Chief Bald Eagle served our country in World War II as a paratrooper and one of the legendary Lakota Code Talkers. We lost him earlier this summer, but his life continues to be an inspiration to the Lakota people and to those who knew him. Brigadier General Richard E. Ellsworth is also laid to rest there. This is a man who flew 400 combat missions during World War II and earned numerous medals. He returned to the U.S. where he eventually became wing commander of the Rapid City Air Force Base. In 1953, the base was renamed Ellsworth Air Force Base in his honor. We honor the legacy of those veterans and many others at the Black Hills National Cemetery, but the facility will not have the room it needs to continue serving future veterans without expansion. This bill will allow that expansion by transferring around 200 acres of adjacent land near Sturgis, South Dakota, from the Bureau of Land Management's jurisdiction to the Department of Veterans Affairs. My office has worked with these agencies and stakeholders in crafting the legislation, and all agree that this land transfer is necessary. The transfer of land will provide the Black Hills National Cemetery with the additional burial space that it needs and assure that today's veterans and service members, as well as their families, that we will be able to uphold our commitment and offer this nation's eternal gratitude for all that they have done. Again, I want to thank the committee and the chairman my colleagues for supporting this bill, and I urge a yes vote. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and with that, I'll yield back.